us by the school house. Remember the folk and in the school house. Remember the teachers. Remember the principal, the security. Each and every one are taking care of them. Remember them. Father God, we know they are very, very stubborn hearted. But Jesus, remember them in the doors of mercy. I bring the Prime Minister before you. Father God, what could I tell you? What could I say? You know that son, if thou be so pleased. You know, in private child, we cradle days up to this time and hour. Father, do for him what he cannot do for himself. Educate him for yourself. Remember, ministers, I bring them before you this hour, blessed Lord, both male and female, each and every one of them. My God and my King, this man in the opposition party, I bring before you, remember that son, if thou be so pleased. Dr. Kid by name and by no man, reach out and touch him wherever I locate. Guide him and protect him, Lord. I bring all the ministers before you, each and every one of them, both male and female. Take them in charge if thou be so pleased. I know you is able, Lord. There is nothing you cannot do for them. We want to keep them on praying ground and on watchful tongues. Help them to pray and pray their life away this morning, Lord. The entire force, Lord. I bring it before you. I lift it up to you as a living sacrifice, and I heal it up to you. Joyful that did that self a die, and let our spring be this hour, blessed Lord. Pass by our police station this hour. Those on duty and those out of duty, remember the SSU I bring before you. Pass by every camp, Lord, my God and my King. You know the ups and you know the down. You know the fault and you know the, the failure. The ones and they need this, our blessed Lord. Look over each and every one of them. For the way the weak make them strong, and with the strong make them stronger. My God and my King, this our Lord. Remember the boat on the ocean, I bring each and every one before you. Remember the coast, God, I bring it before you this morning, Lord. For the God, take them in charge in the going, Lord. You go with them in the remaining, Lord. Cover them, Lord, when they are about to come back. Please, Jesus, bring them back safe and sound. Remember the fishermen this morning, the daily depending on to have a catch. Father, the bread and water, this our blessed Lord, my God and my King. Remember the sick and afflicted one, those on the hospital bed, even those in the home, this our Lord. Remember each and every one of them, those are taking care of them. Remember the nurses and the doctors. Remember all workers here and everywhere, I bring them before you this morning, Lord. And I lift them up to you, this our blessed Lord. Every minister I bring before you this morning about on the gospel, Lord. Help them to do the things that is right and pleasing in your sight. This morning, blessed Lord, what could I tell you, Lord, that you don't know? You are the rock in the very land. You are the one who could tell all your children in the time of storm. So are you caught in this money and give them a peep down? Prop them on any bend inside. Do for them what they cannot do for themselves. Have mercy this morning, Lord. Pass you out the wall I bring before you this hour, Lord. Father God, remember them in the doors of mercy. Take them in charge if thou be so pleased. Pass village to village this hour, Lord. Pass parish to parish this hour, blessed Jesus. Take them in your kind care, my God and my King. Remember each and every one. Remember the youth. Remember the adult. Pass by the prison this morning. Pass by the home for the aged one this hour, Lord. The little children home this hour, Master. Take it in charge, pro. Provide for each and every one of them in that home this hour, blessed Lord, my God and my King. What could I tell you? Father God, remember all those that lost the house. I bring each and every one of them before you this morning. Pass by this morning, Lord. I know you is good and you is kind to each and every one. Reach out and touch them this morning. Thanking you for life and for health and for strength. Thanking you this morning, blessed Lord, for each and every one, my God and my King. Father, I know you is good, you is kind towards your children, Lord. You knocking at the door, let the open, that you enter to talk to them this hour, blessed Lord. My God and my King this morning, Lord, have mercy, Jesus, mercy on the country this hour, blessed Lord. Remember, Miss Matas, I bring before you, pass by curriculum and reach out and touch at that type, thou be so pleased. She holds whole, I bring before you this hour, Lord. Remember, Miss Jacob, I bring before you this morning, blessed Lord. Remember, Kami is in your hand this hour, Lord. For I pass by that data, whom if thou be so pleased, there is nothing you cannot do for her this hour, blessed Lord. Remember, Miss Job is in your hand this hour, Master. Take her in charge if thou be so pleased. Pass by Amity this morning. Remember, my friend, I bring before you this morning, Lord, all those who take in care of Father, so our blessed Lord, my God and my King. 
Father God, remember Adrian, I bring before you this hour, Lord. Remember that son, if thou be so pleased, pass by his mother home. Remember his mother, Lord. Remember his brothers and his sisters, his father is in your hand. Each and every one of them, Mr. Andrew, I bring before you this morning, blessed Lord. Father, reach out and touch that son. Thanking you for health and for strength, for life and for mercy. Thanking you for everything for him this hour, Lord. The home you learn unto him. Him, keep it safe night and day. The earth spring of the body, I bring them before you. Where so they locate all those who are dwelling with them. Bless them if thou be so pleased. Remember them this morning, blessed Lord. The staff I bring before you this morning. Each and every one of them, both male and female, they all is in your hand this hour, Lord. Pass by the full can of that radio station. Remember the bonding center and even the chapel they do the entire of the gap. This of the yard. I bring that place before you this hour, blessed Lord. Father, reach out and touch it if thou be so pleased. I'm asking your master to slap in, slap in Satan chain towards them this hour, blessed Lord. Father, you know Satan roaming this hour, Lord. Is that busy at Bostry, machine Lanny bruising too. But remember your children, Lord. Remember your children in the going out and the coming in. The buses I bring, the driver, the conductor, the passenger, my God and my king. But I must give you thanks. I must give you praise, Lord, because you are so good, you are so kind towards all your children, Lord. My God and my King, Father, this so our blessed Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in a green pasture. He leadeth me beside still water, restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk to the valley to the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art me, thy rod and thy staff to comfort me. Thou prepare my table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou are nine days many, thou are my cup and so over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. And how is you? Good day. Are you there, sir? Just so. Just so. Well, I did just so, too. You did, too? Yes, I did. Thank God I wake up this morning. I'm alive. You're alive, how you know? Oi? How you know you're alive? Tell I'm me. speaking to you. No, who's saying you speaking to? How you know that? But I know, well, right, if it's not to you, but I'm speaking so I know I'm alive. Uh huh. Yes. I'm very alive. Thank God for it. Your daddy? He lie down still. He don't sleep him, but he lie down. Okay. There, sit down by here. Sit down there. How the eyes? Very plenty better to go and get big groups today. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing what I'm doing, and then I will go and get it. Okay. Yes. Well. So thank so you very much. How long you have to put that drips for? I have to put it for seven days, mm -hmm. but I have to put it four times every day. Okay. Well, daddy can see how you put it. Daddy can see, you can see where you, you put it. I <laughs> the Oh, yeah, yeah. Three, Buddha, three let... days. Oh, yeah, take a tablet? Yes, I have to take a tablet. The tablet is for pain for the eyes. I have okay. to take it for three days. And I have to take the eye drop for seven days, but four times every day. Okay. All right, bro. You'll be all right, no worry. Yes, yes, I yeah, know that. Yeah, right. you'll be all right. I don't want you to blame me. I don't want you to see. I want you to see all the nice things that are happening in the world. Mm -hmm. so I don't, I don't want, want you to blame me. No, I don't want you to blame me. Every time I don't say, Papa, can you give me any complaint? But please, don't blame me. You blame I want me. to have my sight. Yeah. All right. Okay. Pleasant day. But where are you like to mind your business day in truth? You can't blame <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Not a joke. I don't want to blind. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to. Not that. Anything else but and not that. if, you know, let me say if it got sickness and he blind me, it's okay. But I don't want people blind me. Careful. I just start sending for some more lash out in your head, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, my darling. Take care, Sophia. Yeah? All right. Bye. Okay. All right. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. It's real, it's 91, 11 minutes after the 7 o'clock hour. Good morning, friends, good morning, wherever you are at this particular point in time. My name is Andre Donald, Responsibility and
dusted upon me once again. So let's ensure that you have a, a sweet start to your Monday morning. When you walk, it's Monday the fourth, the eighth day, uh, yeah, of the fourth month, when you're talk, 2024. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, careful. Two can be used as a denominator, which should do so and give you. Two into four, that's uh, two into four, that's two, right? Eh? Two into eight, that's uh, four. So two into 20, 24. How much is that? Figure it out. <laughs> that's about, maybe about a thousand and something. Like that. 2012, could be? I don't know. Caitlin Knights, good morning to Claude Abraham. And also good morning to Gemma Woolwood and uh, Deborah Laborde and Alvin, Lew uh, Alvin Harris. How you doing this morning? Baby daddy, always there, man. Hulking up the likes, I hope you do that, fam. Let's get the numbers growing once again on another beautiful morning. It's a Monday. Now, honestly, I don't even know what I'm talking about this morning. So we'll do it together as always. Yeah. Gemma Walwood, Shema Jeremiah, and Errol Bonaparte. Faith in Halle Douglas and Anne-Marie Celestine. Let's pop in Anne-Marie. Lars Redhead down there inside of the Grand Mall area. Fountain Art to be exact. It's a Theresa Joseph inside of Toronto. Good morning to you and your family. Maxine Belfont. Brother is always there. Carol Belfon, how you doing? And Andrew. Top of the morning to Goddess Bella. All the way inside of Texas. You gotta be You riding horses this morning, girlfriend? <laughs> you gotta be careful. So where you go? Between now and 20 past the hour thereabouts, we'll be having the when you talk. scripture reading by drumsticks and then just around 20 pounds we join for the weather the folks at the march bishop international airport meteorological office yeah. and uh, at 8 30 this morning we make a special link again with our friends at sistiles uh-huh Love life, live life, and don't let life live you. Greed and jealousy, hatred and envy, man, you have to move with care in that jungle of the Remember that, eh? Live life, love life, but don't let life live you. You gotta be careful. Gotta be. If you're not, something's wrong. Careful, careful. Hey, Anne Marie, you still in Grenada, girl? Remember, we haven't met as yet. Eh? Jerome Lewis, good morning to you. You checking in? You got to leave a Miriam. Miriam is a very special name, yeah. Miriam is the name. Uh, 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 that's my mother's name. Before you, yeah, Agnes Miriam Donald. It's only and that's my daughter's name. Yeah. You got to be careful. So Miriam is a very special name to moi. So Miriam must be a special lady. Good morning to you, Miriam. With Cecile. How you doing it? Celestine, what's up, girl? If you do, we got drumsticks on the line, yeah, and drumsticks is gonna give us a scripture reading for this morning. Drummers, good morning. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning to the nation. Talk to me, darling. I really from the word of God, someone. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, 
nor sitteth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves shall also be not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not sit in the judgment, nor sinners in the, the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but he, the way of the ungodly shall perish. This is the end of the scripture reading. And thank you so very much. How's your weekend, girl? It, it, you cannot do it. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That's good to hear. What? Now we, we went and visited the, the homes and um, mm -hmm. we went in um, springs in the, in the home mm -hmm. for, the, for the age. We went in um, Granan's home for the age and we went in Bella, the children's home. So what happened to the one in St. Patrick? Well, um, not the, mm -hmm. well, the different churches going in different places then. All the churches went in different places. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that, that is our routine. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it was wonderful. It was great. Well, mm -hmm. good, good to hear. Yeah. How are the girls? Everybody all right for the time, yes? Mm -hmm. Everybody all right. Drum six, you have a son? Yeah, I don't have a son. I have sons. <laughs> well, what, 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 what are their names? Um, today, uh, what are they the ninth? Today's the eighth, my dear. Today's the okay, tomorrow is Oliver Body. Tomorrow is God. Oliver? Yeah, Oliver Charles. Oliver Charles. So, yeah. and and how many sons do you have? One, two, three, four, five? Um, well, I have my big son is in America. Okay. A long time now. Mm -hmm. And then I have Oliver and Josh. Okay. And Kendall. And Kendall. Okay. Okay. So, what's your big son's name? Ronnie. Ronnie. So, yeah. Ronnie, Oliver, Josh, and Kendall. Yeah. All right, I got you, baby. I got you. <laughs> Hey, so take care of yourself. Have a great day, love. Have a wonderful day. All right, my darling. Good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah, bye. Mm -hmm. When you're talking, you're going to be king. Laurel Courtney, good morning. Ah, you're going to be ah, careful. careful. Ah, Keep them coming. Ah, and to those of you who are online with us and you can type and sound, why not say hello to somebody that you know is listening? And I will do some... Shout the person for you. Yeah. I say we have to prepare to meet the challenges of life without fear. Greed and jealousy, hatred and envy. Man, you have to move with care in that jungle of the In an industry where customers expect quality, M&N Hardware Limited is a leader in locally manufactured aluminum windows, doors, roofing, and guttering. Our manufacturing division is efficient, flexible, and will always go the extra mile to surpass customer expectations. If you need security, sash, casement, or projected windows, we're able to do it. Our security and heavy-duty doors are state-of-the-art and can be customized specifically for you. Using innovative coating technologies and protective film, our roofing and guttering is weather-resistant, providing outstanding color retention for many years. Available in 24 and 26 gauge and a variety of color options. We are the leading company, a family that is proving to customers they can have their dream products. M&N Hardware Limited. Foundation to roof, let's build together. 50 years as an independent nation. Now that's a reason to celebrate. Bank on a bright future with Quab Bank as we celebrate more than 50 years of partnership with Grenadians. Aspire, build and advance with 100% financing to buy land, purchase or build your home or make those much needed home upgrades. No loan fees, no legal fees, low interest rates. And that's not all. 100% financing on brand new vehicles with 50% off loan fees. 
Celebrate you this year with special financing from Quad Bank. Apply today. Welcome home. Angie. Angie. Don't you know that you should not fly kites near electrical poles and wires? You should only fly it in open areas. If the kite gets stuck, you can cause power outages throughout the village. Then I'll just pull it down, Johnny. Simple? No, no. You shouldn't do that. You can get shocked. You should call Grand Lake at 237 and they will come and help. Alright. Grand Lake. Energy. Grand Lake Community Partnership Initiative. On behalf of the Grenada Athletic Association, we want to thank Grand Lake for the presentation of the check. This is not the first time that they are supporting our character games. I can remember clearly in 2016, they were part of the celebration. You know that Grand Lake has always supported us in all of our activities, in our development programs. They have been there with us and we are very thankful for that and we sincerely hope that we will be able to, to keep them as one of our sponsors. Grand Lake. Ozone really gets it clean. Get with the Ozone family line of products. Ozone liquid laundry detergent. Perfect for your semi or fully automatic washing machines. Yet suitable for your hand wash. Soft on your hands. Ozone disinfectant cleaner. It's the most powerful disinfectant and cleaner with a long lasting fresh scent. Tackles every job around the house or office. Ozone detergent powder and ultra soft fabric softener gets your clothes clean with a natural freshness. Keeps your colors bright. Choose from the wonderful scents, soft flower, ocean breeze, and the new aloe vera. Keep your kitchen sparkling clean with the ozone dishwashing liquid, ozone sponges, and cleaning cloth. Ozone toilet bowl cleaner removes lime scale and kills germs while giving your toilet a refreshing scent. Ozone really gets it clean. Marketed and distributed by Calico, Frequente St. George's and are available at shops and supermarkets nationwide. The Grenville Cooperative Credit Union, the credit union of Grenville, takes you where you want to be. Feel secure with the Credit Union of Grenville, taking care of all your financial needs, including savings, loans, mortgages, and sound financial advice. Serving you with branches on Jubilee Street in Grenville, Lucas Street in St. George's, and new, spacious, convenient, and modern facilities on Seton Brown Street in Grenville and Grand Anse. Call us on 442-8602 or visit one of our offices with Grenville Cooperative Credit Union, the Credit Union of Grenville, your financial security is guaranteed. Like family, it's always exciting when lottery players get together. Now the lottery games are joining in the fun. Check out the multiplier family of InstaCash games. 5 times the cash at $2, 10 times the cash at $3, and 20 times the cash at $5. On your tickets, match any of our numbers with any of the winning numbers and win the prize below that number. There's more. Multiply your winnings up to 5 times, 10 times, or 20 times more. Winning is easy. Play Monday to Sunday. There are no draws to wait on. Win instantly. It's the multiplier family of InstaCash games with over $675,000 to be won instantly. Don't just buy one, buy all because family is everything. Must be 18 years and older to play. NLA, making family dreams come true.
Caribbean, good morning to the world, 25 minutes, 27 minutes after the 7 o'clock hour. The name is still Andrea Down. It hasn't changed yet, has it? No. So nice to be with you for yet another Monday morning. Children heading off to school. Yep. I see we have to prepare. Beginning of another one. Meet the challenges of life without fear. Final term for the school year. Greed and jealousy. Yeah. Hatred and this term should have what about between 12 to 14 weeks. Can someone tell me? Yeah, between 12 to 14 weeks, this, this term will have. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Children, bus drivers and conductors. You got to be careful. Mr. and Mrs. Bido, Joy, down there inside of Victoria. Copper, good morning to you, bro. How you doing? Which direction someone you go in? A very special someone to you guys. Says, hey, Andre, big them up for me. You gotta be careful. Get all this listening to you every morning. Alright, my brother and my sister. Bring it on. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Bring it on. And your son. Bring it on. He wants you to know that he loves you tons and tons and tons. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Bido slash George. Yeah, put it that way. You guys be cool now. In your search for happiness. It's real. It's 91. Good morning, Grenada. Good morning, Caribbean. Good morning to the world again. Hey, Hayes, what? What's going down? What's happening on your side of the fence? Remember, I said to you that, um, yeah, we do this together this morning. Um, do have, yeah, have things to have things to raise. But um, I appreciate your comments, you know. So you can you can choose to call at any time, and oh, so Celestine, you're here. Okay, Celestine, I got you. You're here, and I haven't seen you as yet. Eh? Would you believe that? That's not good. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Let me see. I'm, I'm looking here in all my comments. Oh, Debbie, 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 my dear. How are you? Debbie, are you still out? I didn't think I want you to be out for so very long, you know, Debbie. You need to do some handle that. You, know? you can't be out and out. And every time I check you out, come on, Debbie, you have to stand out. Francis Pay, good morning. How are you doing? <clears throat> all right. So uh, I am... Um, I observed something that um that popped up in my notifications. Yeah. And that was on um well it popped up on like Thursday and uh I realized it was an event for Friday, last Friday. And when I looked at the event it was a candlelight vigil, which was being held as a result of the acts, well, as a result of the passing of two youngsters, one in the 20s and then one, I don't even think he's gotten out of the 20s as yet, but life snuffed out just like that. And I realized that they were having a candlelight vigil for them. So I kicked like candlelight vigil again. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Candlelight vigil again. And then I decided, you know what? Let me check the dictionary to see what really and truly is a candlelight vigil. 
and goes like this a candlelight vigil or a candlelit vigil or a candlelight service it can be called a candlelit candlelight or a candlelight service is an outdoor assembly of people carrying candles held after sunset in order to pray and show some support for a specific cause or to remember the dead, in which case the event is all often called a candlelight memorial. So, in essence, what was held at the Long Wall on Friday last, dubbed a candlelight vigil, was indeed a candlelight memorial and it said that such events may be held to protest the suffering of some marginalized group of people a large candlelight vigil may have invited speakers and a public address system and may be covered by local or national media and the speakers they give speech at the beginning of the vigil to explain why they are holding the vigil, yeah? It explains why they're, why they're holding the vigil and what it represents. And vigils may also have a religious purpose that contains prayer and fasting. On Christmas Eve, it is said that many churches hold candlelight vigils. So the candlelight memorial, which was held last Friday at the Long Wall, that candlelight memorial which was held at the Long Wall last Friday, and it was for the two bikers who lost their lives. All, and we have to understand that according to the meaning of candlelight vigil or candlelight memorial, it is in order if it is done properly. However, even as they proceed to the event, and that's the part I'm coming to, I witness some of the riders who were going to the event passing me along the, na along the nation's highway and byways. And I kid you not, I kid you not. Being passed and seeing them go by and seeing the craziness that they were doing to get to the vigil, I said to myself, well, hold on. We are going to have another vigil again. And with the blessings of the Ancient of Days, there are no accidents. And nobody lost their lives. Now, in memory of the two youngsters who lost their lives, I say that the leaders of the biking association, yeah, they're, they're, they're groups, or, or, or there is a group, or can be more than one. I say to you, the leader I'm talking to here, the, the, the president and the who and the who and the who. I say to you, you need to start talking to your members. Otherwise, we'll be having a lot of vigils. Because your members, they are crazy. They are crazy. You bet your bottom dollar on that one. That is not how you should be using the nation's roads. You need to do better. I, for the life of me, I cannot understand why when you're using the nation's roads, you believe that you're the only one there. That you are the only road user. You have to do better. I don't mind going to your vigils, you know. No, I don't mind going to your vigil. The thing is that there are going to be so very many that I'll get tired of going. 
you yourself would get tired of attending vigils for your brothers. Because your brothers are behaving in a manner that is, it lacks discipline. Discipline for themselves, discipline for other road users, be it other bikers who are not necessarily going to your thing, or they're probably going the opposite direction, be it for drivers of trucks and buses and cars, and be it for pedestrians. And even because your bikes are so noisy, even lack of respect and discipline for those who are shut in. Because when you accelerate so very quickly, you get that boom, that loud sound, and it could jolt somebody who is trying to take a rest in their home, and their home is pretty close to the road. But you have no regards. You have absolutely no regard. And you're telling me that you're going to pay respects to your two brothers, and you don't even have respect for yourself. You don't have respect for other road users. And you know what? Here's what. Announcers and broadcasters across the nation, they are not going to criticize you because they want your likes. Because if they get the likes of the Bikers, Bikers Association, wow, that's a lot. A lot of people viewing and a lot of people liking. But I, I always say to you, I love your likes, but I'm not here primarily for, for likes, no. I am not here primarily for your likes. I am here because I love my country. And I'm here to tell you exactly. If you figure that Andre is doing something wrong, then by all means, jump on it. Get on it. Once you figure that Andre is doing something wrong, because when Andre figures that you playing the fool, he will talk about it. And bikers, you playing the fool. I await, you know. I await the reports of what is going to happen when the burial of those two gentlemen are taking place. I await. I would love to see it done in a civil manner. I would love to see the president of the different associations, if there are many, I don't know how many they are, I'd love to see the presidents coming out and say, hey, we are doing this in an orderly manner. We don't want another. We could do without another. We've already lost two brothers this year. We don't need to lose another brother or sister. Do you understand? Come on, man. You guys playing the fool. And you know that you're playing the fool. If you're going to do these things, they must be done in a controlled environment. The wheelies you want to pop and the stunts that you want to do, hey, they should be done in controlled environments. You guys are not bike experts. You're learning. You're not stuntmen. You're practicing. And you want to practice with tons of people around and you don't know how to control your bike when that front wheel drops. You lose control for a couple of seconds and that could be the time when someone loses their life. You can lose your life too. Do you understand? What's up, brothers? And sisters, you're in it too. You know why? Because you stand on the bikes. When they're moving along the, the nation's highways and byways, you stand. You stand and you hang on to their shoulders and you, you figure it looks pretty. Yeah, it looks pretty. But guess what? You can look pretty up with a lot of bandages. Yeah. That's how you could end up. With a lot of bandages. You can call it makeup if you like. 
Yeah. You guys need to do so and realize. Realize that this does not make sense. Stunts are to be done by stuntmen. You are not qualified. You are not experienced. You don't know how to do it properly. And hence the reason why when you do it, you will be causing accidents. But no, you want the likes. Yeah, man, that man bad. Yeah. Nobody hearing, you ain't hearing that you bad when you dead. And that's the bottom line. You ain't hearing that you bad when you dead. Do you understand? As I said, please remember one thing. To do these events, they must be done and should be done. In controlled environments. Mm -hmm. So on Easter and other times you choose to have your, your ride around the country, and nobody's stopping you. Nobody's stopping you from having your ride around the country. That's cool, that's all right. It should be done properly. You are not the only road user. They are other road users. They are even animals on the side of the road. So imagine a cattle tied on the side of the road. Now it shouldn't be in the first case, but imagine that it's tied on the side of the road and you go by, Brim! that cattle gets scared and darts in the direction of other bikers oncoming. What do you think happened? Cattle dead, yes. And your friends damaged. Badly because of what you just did. Nothing happened to you, you know. Imagine that a child is in the yard. The house is close to the road and the child is in the yard. And yes, the mother or the father looking at the child in the yard. And bring you make that song. And that child just gets disoriented for a minute and darts into the road. Wham! Bang! Child dead. All because of your stupidity. And if, listen, if other radio announcers and broadcasters don't want to tell you that it's a dumb thing, I'm going to tell you. You're not going to like me after that. That's okay. But I'm telling you what you're doing is wrong. There is the Pearl's airstrip. The people who are doing the drag racing, they use it. They don't come on the nation's road. Well, uh, well, let me not say it this way. They don't perform all their stunts on the nation's road because they too have a serious problem. One of these days I'm going to do so and give them their two pence. But you can go to, you can make it a nice big bike rally. Get to the Pearl's place. Ride normally and get to the Pearl's Airstrip and do your stunts and do them over and over and over again in a controlled environment. Who is that on the line? Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Andre. Good morning, How are you this morning? I'm there. I heard you wanted the bikers, but it have some ordinary cars. What does the same thing? I ain't ready for the cars yet. I'm dealing yeah. with the bikes now. All right. So I, I'll be think, ready for them. I'll be ready for them in soon time. I'm dealing right. with the bikers now. Because even in the bike where we are living up in Mount Fan in Hope area, it has some young men just come inside and it has so many children, some of them playing on the road. And, and if you see how the speed they just come in here and with that loud, loud music, boom, but sometimes where I live, sometimes when the music stays up, Part a few rods away from me. It's shaking my gal. Like something when they reach here. I'm an aged person. Mm -hmm. I just be scared. But you need to tell the children don't play in the road too. That's not a good practice. Not yeah, in this I day. Understand. Not in this day and age where there's so many vehicles on our nation's yes, road. Tell the children don't play in the roads. Yes, but here is a little byway. Doesn't make a difference. Oh. Tell them don't play in the roads. Okay, my dear. Because you know these missiles are coming. Yes. So yes, then don't play in the roads. At, at least avoid it. 
I just talked to them about mm. it, but my God, it's awful with a few of these young men who are just coming here with a vehicle. It is real, real, real disturbing. And with the loud music, they have the, um, the speaker outside the vehicle, and you could imagine the loud noise. So when you finish with the bikers, the next time, according to when, yeah. you deal with them. Thank I you very much. Have a good Take day. care. One love. Great. All right. Good. Yeah, we can deal with the cars one of these days. One of these mornings, we deal with the cars. Imagine. Imagine this, eh? And I'm speaking now to the police officers. Imagine this. You're going about your nature, your, your duties. You're probably driving. You're probably riding a bike, police officer. Or you're probably walking. And lo and behold, you see a bike is coming to you. And the right, the, 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 the biker, that's the one who controls the handlebars, is not wearing a helmet. And the, the rider, yeah, that's what, not the, um, the passenger, put it that way, is also not wearing a helmet. But you let them pass. You don't tell them anything. But here comes Andre. And Andre is not wearing a seatbelt. No, I agree. Two wrongs don't make a right. But you give Andre a ticket. And yeah, that's your right to do. But how come you did not see those two that just passed by? Huh? How come? But you see the one that just came along. Now, I ain't telling you officers what to see and what not to see, but come on. Officers, there are too many people, too many youngsters, or too many people, put it that way, who continue to ride without helmet, and a lot of times, they don't even have license. And you know that. Why aren't you making it a practice to stop the bikers as they come along and say, okay, fine. You got your helmet? Now let me see um, your driver's license. And these days, you don't even have to ask them to see their driver's license. You just ask them their name. You punch it in. Blam, 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 blam. Boom. It comes up. So you know whether or not they paid up or whether or not, hey, you didn't pay your license this year. Your birthday is gone already. You know that. That's what you can do. But you neglect to do your duties. So you... Officer, you are responsible for some of the missiles on the road. You are responsible for some of the missiles on the roads. Not, let me tell you something. Not 100% of the persons who partake in, in, in the bike rides around Eastern Sun. Not 100% of those persons who partake in that. Have license or bike. But they ride. Because police ain't body in check. And of course, you can't check all of them on that particular day. Nah, you can't do that. That's that's gonna be a, psh, a disaster. But if you keep checks on a daily basis, in every community there's a police station. Every community there's a police station. If you keep checks, then you will know who's doing what and who's not doing what. So officers, do your part and stop dealing with a man who doesn't have the seat belt only. Stop dealing with him only or the one who doesn't have... Um, a, a good tire on the left, right, or wherever, in the back and front, whatever. Deal with him, yeah. But deal with the others too. It's like you're profiling those with cars and those with bikes and so on. You're letting them go by. And I need to say something to end this whole thing about the bike thingy. You see those quad bikes those four wheel thingies 
I say to the RGPF, I want you to honestly, I want you to honestly relook, relook these vehicles being on the roads. They weren't made for. for. They weren't made for that. They were made for tracks, off-road duties. That's what they were made for. I know how you all do so and end up doing so and decide, well, okay, fine. We're going to license them for the roads. You put a missile on the road. That's like a nuclear bomb you put there. These vehicles weren't made for the corners and corners and corners that we have. It was not made for that. These were made for open spaces, off-roads, and so on. With proper helmet and proper shoulder pads and whatever, knee pads and all pads possible. Yeah, that's what it was made for. But you, you decide, chuts, man, I'll do some put on the road. Think again, officers, think again. With everybody scrambling to get a share Whooping sheep clothing Both of prey waiting to swoop down in an industry where customers expect quality, M&N Hardware Limited is a leader in locally manufactured aluminum windows, doors, roofing, and guttering. Our manufacturing division is efficient, flexible, and will always go the extra mile to surpass customer expectations. If you need security, sash, casement, or projected windows, we're able to do it. Our security and heavy-duty doors are state-of-the-art and can be customized specifically for you. Using innovative coating technologies and protective film, our roofing and guttering is weather-resistant, providing outstanding color retention for many years. Available in 24 and 26 gauge and a variety of color options. We are the leading company, a family that is proving to customers they can have their dream products. M&N Hardware Limited. Foundation to roof, let's build together. Third party outages are, outages are caused by parties external to Grenick. Kite flying is one of the major causes of third party outages also. Kite flying over the years has proven to be an issue that has created many outages on our systems. This Easter, Grenlec would like you to keep your kite in sight. Use an open area with no overhead power lines. Avoid personal injury through electric shock. Avoid damaging property and causing inconvenience through power outages. Enjoy tradition safely. Avoid damage and injury. The new National Party St. Patrick's West presents Skanking Sweet on Saturday, April 27. A back in time party. Bar, ice cold. Doors open at 10 p.m. Early bird tickets, $15. More after. Music by DJ Just Gus, the Immortal, Small Clothes International. Where? At the arena. Where else? In Plains in St. Patrick. Skanking Sweet. See you there. Angie, Angie, don't you know that you should not fly kites in electrical poles and wires? You should only fly it in open areas. If the kite gets stuck, it can cause power outages throughout the village. Then I'll just pull it on, Johnny. Simple. No, no, you shouldn't do that. You can get shocked. You should call Grenlec at 237 and they will come and help. Grenlec. Energy. BF 2024 Italy City Sports presents the fourth annual F -f Football Under the Lights at Russell Plainfield in St. Patrick. $20,000 up for grabs in cash and prizes. First place winner in the senior will receive $4,000 and under 17, $1,500. Second place, $3,000 and under 17, $1,000. The dream team all the way from St. Davis is ready to defend. Come witness one game nightly on weekdays and two games all week
weekends. It's two competitions, one for the seniors and the other for under 17. Registration fee, $400 for seniors and under 17 is free. All teams will be able to register at least 20 players. All players must have their uniform and must be numbered. Contact 538-7509 or 406-9580. Football, Football. under the lights. Under the lights. Saturday, February 3rd until April 30th. Rosal Plainfield, St. Patrick's. Be there. Some exciting news for you. JetBlue is thrilled to announce its new non-stop flight every Saturday from Grenada's Maurice Bishop International Airport to the vibrant city of Boston. Now you can embark on your Boston adventure without any layovers. JetBlue is making it easier than ever to explore this incredible destination. Whether you're visiting family or friends, exploring for the first time, or simply experiencing Boston life, JetBlue has you covered with a convenient non-stop flight, complete with comfortable seating, complimentary snacks, and an array of entertainment options. You'll arrive in Boston feeling relaxed and ready to explore. So now's the time. Visit JetBlue.com to book your flight and bring Boston closer to Grenada. Let your adventure begin. Step inside. Immerse yourself in colors that come alive. Color by Let your imagination run wild. Surround yourself in a world of color. Color by Endless inspiration. Sissons. Express your style with color by Sissons. The first word when you speak about furniture is classic. classic. Yes, at Classic Furniture, they design and make the best in local furniture. All their products are made from the finest local wood available on island. You think it, they design it and make it to your expectations. The highest standards at the best possible price. And they also provide higher purchase for you, their valued customers. Located on Ben Jones Street in Grenville with their factory at Chantemel in St. Patrick. That's where you need to visit when looking for products made of the finest local wood. They deliver and install items at no extra cost. Your satisfaction is their mission. The extra step is taken to ensure their customers are completely satisfied. They do doors and finished kitchens, supplies mattresses, and restores antique pieces to look like the first day they were made. Hey, give us a call on 442 4645 and 442 972. Six. Classic, Classic furniture. Grenada's homegrown furniture producers. It is said the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Therefore, the authenticity of the beverage can only be acquired in the taste. A taste which is original to Antoine de Beauregard Industries and comes from a combination of spices and local rum, which can hold its own all over the world. Woodman, a strength which speaks for itself. A taste which stands out from the rest, bottled with care, which speaks to perfection. Try Woodman today and be stunned by a flavor as never before. Let your palate savor that which is produced locally. Do not be deterred by substandard products. Our taste speaks volumes and sets us apart from the competition. You will be satisfied with every sip of our product. Say rum, say woodman, feel satisfaction. Now that's quality. Tourism is me, tourism is you. Tourism is everybody, and tourism connects us all. Did you know that tourism generates revenue and foreign exchange earnings? Did you know it stimulates infrastructural development and facilitates cultural exchange among people? You must know tourism is linked to all industries. From agriculture to construction. So support the industry today and be welcoming to all our visitors. Tourism is my business. Tourism is your business. 
Tourism is our business. Listen one and all. Tourism connects us all. A message from the Ministry of Tourism and the Grenada Tourism Authority. with you. See, we have two people who are still in line with us and uh, all, what, about, maybe about 260 something. We needed about 200, uh, 300 this morning, but it didn't happen. But those of you, the Adrian Watts, good morning to you. How you doing? God is Bella. She says, Andrew, we are now in a world where discipline is shame and ignorance is encouraged. I do agree with that. If you're disciplined, you're shame. Yeah. You behave like an idiot, everybody likes you. Yeah, if you, if you speak out on something, nobody likes you about it. Like, uh -uh, please, give me a break. Yeah. You don't speak out and you stay in a corner. Yeah, man, that, that, that's a bridge in there. Good morning. How are you doing? Hello, Andre. Good morning. Yes, good morning to you, Good morning to your listeners. I mean, that's a very, very important topic. The motorcycle is becoming a dangerous weapon on our roads. For instance, imagine that you are in the street in Grenville, and a guy on a motorcycle just come and he starts just wheeling and he lifts up his front, the front of his motorcycle, mm. you know? Riding through the streets in, in, in Greenville. Very, very, very dangerous. Small streets, plenty vehicles, a very dangerous exercise. However, one of the, the things I, I would like to see, right, is that we must categorize the motorcycles. A lot of the motorcycles we have now on our streets, they are not street bikes. They are built for the track or the sand. And we, our, our, our guys are buying these motorcycles, not understanding that they are not street bikes, and we are using them on our nation roads. For instance, you look at the guys, some of the guys look at you riding the ninjas, and you look at, at how they sit on the ninjas and the poles. Because the bikes are off balance, and I could say because, I mean, I, I ride bike for a lot of years in my, in, in my life, from home to Grand Island on a daily basis for many years. So I have, I have a good knowledge of motorcycles, right? And these, a lot of these motorcycles, the four-wheelers, they can corner. But we have them on our nation road. You have some of the, you have some of the ninjas, these bikes were made for track, for when you do motor, motor crossing, and things like that, special tracks, and then the, those guys with the motorcycle, they have proper gears and so forth on the socket. So, 
the licensing department now must categorize this bike that these bikes are not street. You could ride, you could like you say you could go in pulse and you could have and you could have your your, your mitts there and so and, but these bikes are not street bikes. We got to categorize them. And and our and our guys I will call it we have a show up kind of group then. I I mean for 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 wonderful for better word. Because how a man go come in the street in Greenville and wheeling and lifting up the front wheel and making nonsense in his in, in, uh, hold on let me let me ask you a question here and you blame him i don't blame him i blame the police because yes, if, yes, if the yes, first yes, time if, if the first time somebody does that they get a ticket or they're taken to court because what what is happening there is that you're threatening people's other people's lives eh? obviously right so if the person is taken to court and the book is thrown at them when that happens first time, you think somebody else is gonna come and do it? No, but the police themselves laughing and say, "Oh, that man could ride, boy." Bad, I blame them because they're not doing their job, and they ain't just start to not do their job. You know, it's a long time thing, you know. Yeah, the, the next, they're not doing their jobs. The next thing about it, do we need do do do, do we need a twelve hundred a twelve hundred CC here? I don't know. I don't know about banks, so I can't say. At, at, at 1200 CC, where are you going with that? You know, because they are not cruisers, so they need to run at a certain at a certain speed, right? They are. That's why I say these bikes are not street bikes. Or we do not. Have, our terrain does not does, does not afford us that. You know, I had a I, I, I had a 550. It was my last bike. Very powerful. Very very powerful motorcycle. And I remember one time I met a I met a guy. And he's getting on the grind tank and, and, and the, 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 um, the scooter held up. And I was able to throw them up the grind tank like, 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 like nothing with my, with, with, my, with, my, with my 550. Easy ride. You know? But again, as you said, that these stunts, this wheeling is a very, very dangerous thing. And most of the guys, they don't, they don't practice enough. They do not have the proper gears. And it's something we must not encourage. And I think we need more seminars for our bikers that they understand the safety net and the rules they must follow for their own good, you know, for their own, for, 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 their, for their own good, you know. So I think that that is a very important subject. We cannot overemphasize the importance of safety and where you do, what you do, and how you do it is extremely important. Look at and it I'll this say, way. Look at it this way, my friend. The guys who ride the Harley Davidson bikes, they don't stunt. Eh? They just no. ride. No, no, no. They just ride. Because How come we can just ride also? You know. No, but we had to stunt and pop wheels in the air and drop it you down know, and not all this nonsense. And and you the thing. You have your nice Honda Hawk and you, and you're cruising and and you know you have a nice island too. You know because not at speed. What you're doing, you're just having. A nice cruise ride, yeah. you know. But now, I don't know. I think that we missing we we missing the boat. And like you say, the guys with the holiday say, look at the old lawyers, seventy, eighty years, and then for and then for us riding. They are some them are Easter weekend. They might go from one state to the next, and they go to church here and the assembly here and have nice time. What we could do these things? We following the wrong patterns of things, Andre. One love. Thank you. Take care. Claudette Sylvester, top of the morning to you. And Goddess, how you doing again, my dear? Text, yeah. As Goddess is saying that you need a, you need license to ride bikes, of course, and I believe that. But the question is, how many, how many of our bikers are licensed to ride bikes? How many of our bikers who own bikes have license and insurance of bikes? Come on, man. We need to start doing something. We need to start regularizing the whole thing. Anyway, remember I told you this, told you that uh, earlier that uh, this morning we linking it off folks at Sister Isles through the um, what's it Zoom link? Yeah, we'll be having another conversation in relation to the pump it up vibes inside the Karaku. Pump it up as organized by the. Um, Grenada Cooperative Bank with other uh, sponsors getting on board with them. And this is what they do every year. There's a pump it up uh, 
work. They started some back in 2008 or 2009. Many, we'll talk more about that. Yeah. Now listen to this. Something happened over the weekend. And I think you, especially the church goers, need to take a look at what happened over the weekend. It has now it, it, it has affected the Catholic Church. And that is because the bishop saw the need to step in. I hope and pray that there are other church leaders who will step in on what, what and what I call managers of their congregation when they do dumb things. I hope and pray. Now, Jared Paul, Reverend Jared Paul, Sir, you've been suspended from all priestly ministry, effective immediately and indefinitely. That letter was sent to you. And I read something to you. It's, it goes like this. Further to the events of Wednesday, the 27th of March, 2024, in the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, and thereafter on various media platforms, it says here, Father Jared Paul has been suspended from all priestly ministry, effective immediately and indefinitely. Now, it goes on to say, while the views of Father Paul on the situation in Gaza are shared by many, his president is persistent, sorry, attacks on the Catholic Church and her leadership, as well as his misleading claims that the church has done nothing in this and other situations are erroneous and divisive. They have confused, harmed, and scandalized many faithful persons that have brought his fellow clergy into disrepute. Those are very, very strong words. And Reverend Paul, honestly, listening to what you've said and what you continue to say, I might be the only broadcaster again. Andre goes off on a length here, yeah? but I might be the only broadcaster again who said to you, Paul, nah, nah, bridging. Not on this one. When you played carnival here in Grenada for the first time, I was taken aback. And I try, and still today, I'm still trying to understand you and carnival. Because if carnival is associated with wine, woman, and song, yeah, that's what it's associated with. Is who could wine more? Who could drink more rum? And who could get on real bad to Oswes and all of them? Yeah. So if that is the case, bro. Now, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I can't say that you shouldn't play your carnival. But I, I'd say that if you're going to do so and play jab. And jab jab is... Related to devil. Yeah, that's what it is. Jab Jab is, is a devil mass. So you taking off your cloth, your holy cloth. Because the Bible teaches you to respect the man of the cloth. And you're taking out the cloth and you go in and put the black thing on yourself, oil or tar or whatever you put. You turn devil. So today, you're a man of the cloth wearing nice white clothing and tomorrow is a job job Jared no 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 you remind me of that song if the priest could play who is me that's remember that song anyway 
No, 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 Jared. Uh -uh. And I call you Jared because I want to show you that. And, and yeah, somebody will tell you something and, and I, I, I trust that they will send you to look for this um, recording on, on YouTube before you make a remark about me and what I said. No, but, but you continue to do so and refer to the bishop. Now, me no church person. Yeah. And um, as I say to people, I've been to so many church services in my life that if you're going to heaven because of church services, I reach in heaven long time. The amount of church services I went to. I grew up in the Anglican Rectory, in case you didn't know, Gerard. So I understand what respect is. And your bishop, you can't be referring to the goodly gentleman by his first name. One, he's older than you, so let's take it from that. He's your boss, let's take it from that. He's a leader of the Catholic community in Grenada, let's take it at that. So have some respect for the guy. You can't do that, Jared. You know better than that. Have some, I may not necessarily like him, you know. I may be one singing Bon Room or Fire Upon Room. I may be the one singing that. But I say to you, Jared, if you're in it, you know there's a thing that the lotter does, you got to be in it to win it. Yeah. If you're in it, Jared, you have to conform to the ways. You understand? You can be do. Well, let me tell you something. If you're breaking all those rules, and I mean straight with you, eh? there are those who would want to kill me after I say this. Yeah, Bella, I know you love Jab Jab. There are those who would want to kill me after I say this. We have grown up with our priest. And I grew up in the rectory, I said. So I know there was alcohol, always alcohol in the rectory. I'm not talking wine for communion. There's always, there's a liquor cabinet. Did I touch? No, I didn't. I was a very good little boy. Yeah, didn't touch. Didn't steal from it, no. Not until I became an adult. But in any event, check this out. <laughs> if you, Jerry, you drinking rum, you playing jab jab, you're going to train down and play carnival. You said, I'm just going by what you said, you're going to train down and play in carnival. What again? You're speaking out on your on your pope and on your bishop. Well, it might be safe to say, it might be, listen carefully, listen carefully here, Gerard. I want them to, 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 I want them to hear what I say carefully. It might be correct to suggest that you are a woman too. Mic drop. Andre Hush. The church has rules, Zara. The church has rules. And you knew about the rules. You knew about the rules when you went in or before you went in. You knew. It's a whole process, you know. You knew. So you knew that one of the rules there was, hey, no carnival, no jump up in the band. Didn't say that the priest can't look at the mass. But it specifically speaks to the priest not playing the mass. But you play the mass. Let me see what Hudson's saying there. The global conflict of wars, money, trade, racism, and banking system will create more Jared Paul. I know what you mean by that. I remind you of something else here. Based on my understanding, and I ain't so bright, eh? I ain't so bright, but based on my understanding, a priest, a priest, is not supposed to have businesses. Huh? A priest is not supposed to have businesses. Remember that? 
Jared, do you have any businesses? And why do I say that? Well, that, that is holy. That's all enshrining the whole thing. You can't have businesses. No. As a matter of fact, you can... I, I'm not even too sure what it is on you owning lands, you know, meaning a priest owning lands. I'm not even sure what it speaks to. Maybe you can, but maybe you have to give the proceeds towards the church and its community and not necessarily use the proceeds for your self-development. Yeah. Do you understand? So, Jared, here's what. Knowingly that the church, the church has rules and regulation. Knowingly, you got in. But you get in there and you want to mash up them people thing. No, Gerald, you can't do that. Seriously, you can't do that. I have my hang-ups with the church, you know. And tell you what, I've been there many, many years. First memories I have really as a youth growing up would be the church. There's a caller. Let's take, let's take this caller. Caller, you got two minutes. Talk to me. Good morning. You got two minutes. Good morning, Jerry. Thank you for the two minutes. Um, a quick question. You said um, in your growing up there was rum in the, there was liquor, not rum, in the, in the um, rectory or whatever you said. My question is, who drank that? Who was drinking that? I was too. I'm too. I'm too old to remember because I was too young then. Oh, but uh, okay. So let's leave that as that. I, it just intrigued my memory as to, and you know, it's very fascinating as to who drank that, and and why they have that in because, I mean, from if we are going on Bible terms, we, we shouldn't have liquor in in the church. And, I, and, I am not. I am not. Arm. I am not God, so I can't say that. I'm not God. No, 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 no. You don't have to be God. You know that. I know you know that. We're not going to spend time arguing that. But anyhow, my next question. Um, and what is your views on on the church ordaining um, gay gay priests? At this time, I'm not in a position to comment on that. All right. So I'm sorry. Right. I can't comment on that. All right. At this time. Okay. No problem. No All problem. Right. That's it? Thank you, man. Okay, then. One love. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Yeah. It's real. It's 91.9, 91.5, D realfmgrenada.com. <laughs> Somebody sent a message. The land is family land and not Mr. Paul's land. I didn't say he owned any land. I never said that. I'm just saying that based on my understanding, you're not supposed to. Don't get me wrong. Go back and listen. That's I'm so very happy that this thing is being recorded there. Go back and listen. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning to you, Mr. Andre Donald. You got two minutes. Um, good morning to the rest of the nation. Very controversial um, topic. And I don't think any one of us could do just just to get it right from it and the right wrong from it. We have to live within certain parts of it. I know that for certain that Anglican priests drink rum or drink alcohol. I could certify that. As to the having property, I ain't too sure. Because I think I know of priests that had property. But I ain't too sure what the rules see for that. And the Anglican and Catholic rules kind of similar. Kind of similar. But I agree with you in a lot of instances, some of the things that I heard that Father Gerald Paul said, and some of the things I heard him say myself, because I saw him on an interview with um, with Mr. Um, Yali and them, and some things I heard him say, and the way he referred to the bishop, I think he was totally out of place to do that. But I'm not, I'm not going to share why, why, he have, why you have been this gone because I don't know the whole inside. But I heard statements coming from him. And I don't think he was in place, rain the flock, the flock as they call it, to make those statements. But, as you say, the church and itself have a lot of controversy in it. 
the church of itself. Both Anglican and Catholic, they have a lot of controversial in it. So I don't think we want to finish get the right of that. But you have to obey the rules and regulations when you're part of it. If you're playing cricket, you have to obey the rules of the cricket. So Father Paul had have a right to obey the rules. But I think the bishop of himself too went out of bounds. The bishop of himself went out of bounds too. So to me, when you say when, them, when you say he went out of bounds, what do you mean? Well, he referred to to, to the man as mad man, a crazy man, and other thing, you know. So you ain't feel okay. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Huh? You, you 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 just said that Gerald Paul should not be doing the things that he's done, correct? Thing that he hold does, on, hold on, hold on. Let me don't make no noise on this. Mm -hmm. You just said that Gerald Paul should not be should not have done certain things that he did, correct? Yes, he should certain things. And based on the fact that he's a priest, makes it a little bit worse, correct? Yes. Right. Discipline. So, right discipline the, so if as a priest, if as a priest that you don't have any discipline or your discipline is, is in question, then somebody have to wonder if you don't need mental attention. They, they probably, he probably needs to listen to CJ on Tuesday mornings. He has mental problems. He has serious well, mental problems. Because I you can't, can't, you cannot be, be Clifford, mm. I mean, let's cut the chase. You cannot be behaving like that as a priest. People hold the priest to certain standards. People hold Dave King to certain standards. So if Dave King walked down the road and a big tune bus and Dave King grab a gal and start a wine, something wrong. Yeah, I, I right. Accept, so let me lead that day. I accept all of the. I, I heard. I heard. Yeah. I heard some I gotta, statements. I gotta get get ready for another program that's right. coming up at eight cool. at, at eight thirty. One love, good. It's real. It's ninety one point nine, ninety one point five. Triple W dot D. RealFMGrenada.com would have loved to continue this topic this morning, but you know, you understand that I did say to you, we have to get ready for that Zoom link inside of Karaku with Sisters Radio. Has to do with the pump it up. It's a hungry world out there. With everybody's peace, love, happiness, and joy. Yeah. I expect the, the Catholics are probably rain long fire upon me, but I'm accustomed to that. To swoop down on you. Remember that gate issue? No. Yeah. One day you will remember. Careful. Good morning, Grenada. Good morning to the world. I'm out of here for a minute. Careful. Let me see if I get organized for that link up, all right? Where you go when you're walking. What you say when you're talking. You gotta be careful. Ah. You gotta be careful, careful. Ah. The first word when you speak about furniture is classic. classic. Yes, at Classic Furniture, they design and make the best in local furniture. All their products are made from the finest local wood available on island. You think it, they design it and make it to your expectations. The highest standards at the best possible price. And they also provide higher purchase for you, their valued customers. Located on Ben Jones Street in Grenville with their factory at Chantemel in St. Patrick. That's where you need to visit when looking for products made of the finest local wood. They deliver and install items at no extra cost. Your satisfaction is their mission. The extra step is taken to ensure their customers are completely satisfied. They do doors and finished kitchens, supplies mattresses, and restores antique pieces to look like the first day they were made. Hey, give us a call on 442-4645 and 442-9726. Classic Furniture, Grenada's homegrown furniture producers. It's time to hit the road again with Grenada Cooperative Bank Limited for the annual Pump It Up Family Fun Walk. Gather your friends, bring out the family, organize your group, come out in your numbers and pump it up to a healthier lifestyle while supporting a worthy cause. 
Join us in Karakou on April 14th at 4pm as we pump it up from the Harveydale playing field to the Hillsboro playing field. Then we bring the action to the mainland on April 21st at 4pm from Monrouge playing field to Kirani James Athletic Stadium. It's a fun family affair with lots of prizes and giveaways. Register today because this is the final fundraising push for the re-establishment of the Carlton home. Individual packages are $20, while packages for groups of three or more are $15 each while stocks last. Register online at www.grenadacorpbank.com or at any one of our retail banking units. Visit our website for more details. Grenick Community Partnership Initiative. On behalf of the Grenada Athletic Association, we want to thank Grenick for the presentation of the check. This is not the first time that they are supporting our character games. I can remember clearly in 2016 they were part of the celebration. You know that Grenick has always supported us in all of our activities, in our development programs. They have been there with us. And we are very thankful for that and we sincerely hope that we will be able to, to keep them as one of our sponsors. Grenneck, energizing our community. Tourism is me. Tourism is you. Tourism is everybody. And tourism connects us all. Did you know that tourism generates revenue and foreign exchange earnings? Did you know it stimulates infrastructural development and facilitates cultural exchange among people? You must know tourism is linked to all industries. From agriculture to construction. So support the industry today and be welcoming to all our visitors. Tourism is my business. Tourism is your business. Tourism is our business. Listen one and all. Tourism connects us all. A message from the Ministry of Tourism and the Grenada Tourism Authority. Like family, it's always exciting when lottery players get together. Now the lottery games are joining in the fun. Check out the multiplier family of InstaCash games. Five times the cash at two. 10 times the cash at $3 and 20 times the cash at $5. On your tickets, match any of our numbers with any of the winning numbers and win the prize below that number. There's more. Multiply your winnings up to 5 times, 10 times or 20 times more. Winning is easy. Play Monday to Sunday. There are no draws to wait on. Win instantly. It's the multiplier family of InstaCash games with over $675,000 to be won instantly. Don't just buy one, buy all, because family is everything. Must be 18 years and older to play. NLA, making family dreams come true.
and still is for this final year, the reestablishment of the Carlton home. So this is where the funds are geared towards. And we just want to remind persons that although we see the final year or the final push for the Carlton home, it's in no way the end of the permit of fun walk. The fun walk continues where we will revert to giving a different beneficiary every year. And hence the reason why we have Mr. Adams with us from Guardian Group, because they have been one of the benefactors for several years now, Guardian General Insurance OECS Limited. So very pleased to have him on board with us that we can hear firsthand from the benefactor why they're on in this important initiative and stuck with the cause for all these years. So again, we just want to thank them and recognize them in a very special way. Uh, that's good. That's good. Right. As I mentioned, well, you're going to be in Karaku, but of course, Mr. Adams won't be here. So we're going to let him take the lead this morning here. So <laughs> we're going to talk to you when you get here in Karaku. It's not a problem. Definitely. Yes. Sure. Before, before you run off, though, um, mm -hmm. I was speaking to some patron yesterday and they were talking about the sizes of the um, t shirts that are here now. Anyway, any, anyhow, we'll be able to get some more um, t shirts to Karaku, maybe the different sizes. Unfortunately not, because we're already running out of sizes here as well. I myself was trying to get a package for, for someone, and that's why I know that the sizes in the Caracol are limited, because I even went so far as to call Caracol to see if they could send on a package for me. It cannot, it cannot happen. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> unfortunately, the sizes ran very quickly this year, and what we have recognized is that, you know, in the past, we would have had some of the larger sizes on hand, you know, so you try to gauge and say, well, okay, this is the amount in the different sizes that sell. And then we realized that this year, they've been just flying off the shelf like hot bread and butter. So we just couldn't supply enough of even the larger sizes. Okay, okay. But um, so if somebody don't have a, 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 a pump it up t-shirt for this year and they really want to be on the walk, can they still come? Well, I mean, we cannot um, prevent people from walking on the government road. It's about the government. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yes. <laughs> we cannot tell you that can walk on the government road. <laughs> oh, so, we, just, we just have to be mindful of that um, we have water provided along the route. And, um, you know, of course, we'd like to give preference to our registered participants because we promise persons that once you pay your $15 or your $20 for the package, that you will be provided with water at every step of the way. You understand? So we just need to make sure that we have sufficient water for our registered participants. All right. So, Carla, we're going to talk to you uh, just now, and maybe we might just say hi to Francis as well. We're going to do that a little bit later on. Right. No problem. Let All us right. bring, bring t um, Mr. Adams, representing one of the benefactors there, um, the Guardian Group. Mr. Adams, once again, uh, good morning to you, and hope you're having a wonderful day in sunshiny Barbados this morning. Yes, good morning again to the lovely people in Karaku and the Sister Isles. Um, yes, it's a lovely sunny day here in Barbados, and we are enjoying um, beautiful weather at this time. Um, Guardian Group, if, if I could just go a little bit of the history, um, Guardian General Insurance, OECS Limited, is a subsidiary of Guardian Holdings, Guardian Group. Uh, and we were involved with the Grenada Cooperative Bank in this very 
worthy venture for about seven years now uh, when we were approached by them. Um, we considered it a synergistic and timely initiative for our company to show its support as a good corporate citizen. Um, Guardian Group operates in about 21 territories throughout the region. And so in a matter as worthy of, as this, we would want to be involved. So we really appreciate the initiative and appreciate the offer from the Grenada Cooperative Bank for us to get involved. All right, if you could just take us back and tell us why your Guardian Group actually got involved in this initiative. Yeah. Um, as, as you would know, the, the bank's focus is to advocate a more healthy, conscious Grenada uh, and Sister Isles by promoting healthier lifestyles and facilitating an active community, uh, which is in keeping with one of our overall corporate social responsibility pillars. As I said before, um, seven years ago when we were approached, we saw this right away as being um, striking a synergy um, with our own uh, corporate goals and social responsibility pillars. Um, secondly, as a pan-Caribbean insurer, as I said before, we operate in about 21 territories in the region. We are passionate about the initiatives that promote preventative care and support physical, mental, and emotional, and social well-being. So again, this is a very natural fit for us in terms of our own um, corporate social responsibility. In addition, the initiative allows our staff to lend their support by participating in the walk and endorsing our corporate social responsibility of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. And in so doing, being brand ambassadors for this cause. So. It wasn't too hard for us to consider. We didn't have to take very long to consider our involvement. We were readily on board with this. That sounds, sounds good, though. Um, what are some of the benefits that you expect society will gain uh, from your contribution? Okay, great. So first and foremost, uh, we are committed to realizing the goal of the re-establishment of the Carlton home. Uh, Mrs. Uh, St. Hilaire spoke to this earlier. Um, it, is a, it is a home that caters to the, the treatment and rehabilitation of persons uh, suffering or experiencing alcohol and substance abuse addictions. So we are committed to seeing this home back up and running fully at full steam. Additionally, through Pump It Up and the Family Fun Walk, um, it's a perfect opportunity for families to spend time together in a very safe environment. We we are also busy nowadays, and and very seldom do families get a lot of time to come together and really do something that is exciting and at the same time achieving health goals. So we saw this as such. And thirdly, obviously, the healthy lifestyle of the nation. Uh, itself, the tri nation state. It is it is important for all of us to be involved and get active in physical activity. So uh, you, you're you're killing two birds or three birds with one stone, and we saw this as an excellent opportunity to be involved in, and, and that's why we are here, and we see these as significant benefits for the society um, to to gain. Right, and you know, the event is actually promoted as a family fun. Fun, yes. Fun, yeah. It's not a competition. It's not a matter as right. to who will reach the, um, the, the final destination first. That's right, correct. Uh, and that is critical, right? The families can come out. It's, it's like a, a, a real outing for the family from the, from the youngest ones right. to the, the, the oldest ones. It's an excellent opportunity, and I want to encourage everyone to come out and get involved. That's good. That's good. Well, right. I like how you put it. You'll encourage everyone because you yourself cannot be here in person. Yes. But have representatives <laughs> from Guardian Group here. Representatives will be will be on board. Don't worry. <laughs> nice. But we yeah. hope. Um, let me ask you though. You ever been to Caracol before? No, personally, I, I I come to Grenada every month. And if I can give you a little bit of background to myself, I am now the managing director of Guardian General Insurance OECS Limited from. January last year. Um, my um, predecessor, Ronald Hughes, is now the chairman of the company and he is on the ground there. And in my absence, he, he always fills in 
and represents the company, but we have a, a staff count and they are always involved. The staff is gearing up to be involved um, for the, the, the fun walk. So even though I personally won't be there because of work commitments, I have to travel, like I said, this weekend to Anguilla. Um, the staff will be there. The company will be represented. I am there every month and I've committed to visiting Karakou on one of my trips to the to the island states. That's right. I was about to challenge you on that. Whenever yes. you come to Grenada, yeah, just a stone throw away. You can come yes. up. Yes, <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. And we've been talking about that. I, I I must confess, we've been talking about taking a trip over to Karakou, seeing it, and exploring opportunities there as well. That's good. We'll be happy to have you here. Let me Thank just ask you. another question, though. Um, what are some of the ways you can encourage corporate Grenada and other citizens to contribute towards this Pump It Up initiative? Yeah. Well, firstly, I, I, I want to applaud the Grenada Cooperative Bank on their vision and the other corporate partners who are involved for collaborating and providing the necessary financial muscle to realize this objective of the reconstruction, renovation of the Carlton home. Uh, we must promote healthy private sector partnerships as the growth, development, and sustain sustainability of Grenada and our people is a priority, and we must not lose sight of that. However, as a private citizen, uh, you too can play your part by registering for the walk. Um, based on what I was hearing earlier, um, I'm not sure how many more spots are available, um, but register every year and making you a personal commitment to live a healthier um, lifestyle and to support your Grenadian brothers and sisters who are less fortunate and depend on your assistance to get back on track. These things sometimes are unfortunate and they happen at times in unfortunate circumstances. So the work of the Carlton Home cannot be marginalized and therefore any corporate citizen who has the vision to support this worthy cause, I encourage you to get on board. But as I said earlier, it is more than corporate. Um, it's down to the level of family and individuals. You too can play your part. So we do look forward to seeing as many Grenadians, those from Karakou, as possible participating in this year's Pump It Up family fun walk. Right, and we're really on the home stretch because it's a Sunday coming. So we'll continue to encourage everybody, Karaku, Piti Martinique, and Grenada, uh, to be part of the um, Pump It Up Family Fun Walk um, this weekend in Karaku and next weekend inside of Grenada. All right, so we're going to switch back to um, to Carla, Mr. Adams, and we'll talk to you for some closing up uh, comments in a little sure. bit. Sure. All right, yeah. Carla? Right, okay, great. So, right, so, right. Is the final push, as we mentioned, the final leg and all that. We know the target was half a million, five hundred dollars. And to date, you're on four hundred and eighty eight thousand eight hundred dollars. So we're almost there. And we pump it up this year with all the contributions and all that expected will surpass. What say you? Yes, definitely. We will be because the funds from the benefactors go towards directly towards the Carlton Home Fund. It does not go in any way to underwrite the cost of the work. The bank takes care of that wholly and solely. The funds from our benefactors, so we spoke to Guardian Group, we have Antillian Group, we have Flo, we have Jonas Brown and Hubbard Grenada Limited. Those funds go directly into the Carlton Home Fund as well as the funds from the patrons go towards it. So we can rest assured that this year we will not only meet the target, but actually surpass it. And those funds are for the furnishing of the home because still a little over $500,000, as we know. Although it is a lot of money, it's a decent amount of money, it is not able to construct the home. So the ministry through the government is taking care of that aspect of it. And the funds that we raise through this project is for the is for the furnishings of the home. So that's primarily what those funds are geared towards. That's what they'll be used for. And we'll have persons from the ministry talking about it even at the end of the walks as well. They would also speak a little towards that. And we have several other programs where they have been speaking towards it so the general public can know 
and at the end, everyone will see where those funds are going to. Good morning, Linda. All right. And while you also talk to us about, okay, following the pump it up um, on Sunday coming, once you meet the target there, you'll revert to the, um, the other beneficiaries and all that. Talk to us, or actually, I think last program, we asked you to differentiate the beneficiary and the benefactor uh, to us. Uh, can you just reiterate again for us, please? Right. So the beneficiaries are the persons that we give to. So in the past, we've given to the Grenada Heart Foundation, Grenada Diabetes Association, Grenada Kidney Foundation, Sickle Cell Association of Grenada, Grenada Cancer Society, Pink Ribbon Society, Lupus Foundation of Grenada, and from 2016 to present, the Carlton Home Project. They are the beneficiaries. They receive the funds, the benefactors, or our friends from Guardian Group, Mr. Adams. So we're representing them here today. So those are the benefactors. They are the givers, uh, together with Flo and Antillian and Hubbard. Those are the givers. Those are the benefactors because those are the ones that contribute directly towards the board. So they give in order for the beneficiaries and receivers to be able to get. Right, because the last program we had, Flo, I think it was, Flo was one of the benefactors there. That's right, yes. Good, mm -hmm. good. All right, um, where, where is Francis? And Mr. Adams to be as Mr. Centillier. I didn't know Francis said I want to marry Exactly. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. so, Mr. Adams, <laughs> that's <laughs> Mr. Francis Centillier. I guess I have a good yeah. laugh, and that's why it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, because actually you're signing as a... Yeah, so that's what he thought. He's the one who's signing. Here he is now. He's the one who's signing. Right. I yeah, Mr. Centillier. Good. It's okay. I just wanted you to come on screen and say good morning to the beautiful people here. Good morning to you, sir. <laughs> Well, good morning to you and good morning to the listeners of Sister Anne and Real FM and of course to Mr. Adams. You know, and sometimes it's always, um, well, important, you know, being behind the scene and making things happen. And to me, that's what you've been doing. Well, you know, we, the ball has to keep, has to be uh, kept rolling and uh, if we, we have to do this. And um, it's important to know how to have a team to ensure that we get it done. Right. So I, I take it, well, I, uh, we al already ascertained that um, Carla is going to be in Karakut this weekend. What about you? Well, of course, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there for sure. <laughs> We're looking forward to have you here. Of course, I'll drop by the station when I, when I get up. So yeah, that's fine. That's, that's so we'll have a little one-on-one -on -one again. It's not a problem at all. Sure. All, all the you and the folks at Qua Bank. Well, thank you very kindly. Same to you and um, your listeners, uh, Gary, Koo, and across the diaspora. Continue to do a wonderful job. We do that. Thank you. All right, Mr. Adams, anything final from you this morning? I, I just want to express how grateful Guardian Group is and Guardian General Insurance in particular um, in having the opportunity, firstly, to be involved in pump it up i think this is a is a great great activity and money well spent i want to encourage all persons in Karakou and grenada to come out to the family fund walk bring out your families and have um share in a wonderful experience and in so doing contribute to the redevelopment of the carlton home and we know it is not only the carlton home this is the focus right now but as was listed earlier, uh, there are a number of other very worthy causes that these funds go to support. So I want to salute the Grenada Cooperative Bank for an excellent um, job and for visioning and, and, and looking forward and seeing and participating and initiating these, these, these um, activities to support support these these very worthy causes thank i want to thank um sister isle radio as well and, and thank you as well for hosting us today and i wish you all the best as you go forward thank you very very much thank you very much for taking the time to share with us as well and we want to wish you a wonderful day and also a safe trip over to anguilla
And of course, I'm going to hold you to that. That whenever you come to Grenada again, you'll be come to Car you'll be coming to Caracol. And I will come and pay you a visit. <laughs> exactly. We we'll yes. look forward to that. All right. Great. <laughs> All the best to you. Have a nice day today. Thank you, and you do too. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much, and uh -huh. a great day to all of you. Right, thank and you. we'll see you over the weekend, so we can yeah. pump it up from the Harvey Vale playing field pump straight up. up to the Hillsborough playing field. We are pumping it up on the weekend. Again. All right, most yeah. definitely. Thank you. Thank you Have so a much. wonderful great day, day to all. Of you. Thanks. Bye, bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, bye. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. It is real. It's 91.9, 91.5, triple W dot the real FM Grenada dot com. As uh, you'd heard, well, I didn't catch you that we're making that link up this morning. It was a bit of a bother that we didn't join exactly when we wanted to join, which is at uh, 8 30. We had a, a little hitch here, but nonetheless, uh, we did make the most of what we had. It's now what, two minutes before the top nine o'clock? So what time for me to say goodbye for yet another day? Remember, you are very important. However, you are not the most important. And it's interesting that you remember that you are very important. However, you are not the most important. Let's figure that one out. Have a good day. Goodbye. God bless you. Man gone. It's a hungry.